So should you wait for Intel's new GPU that's coming out next year? Well, there's something shocking about it that you definitely have to know. So let's see what it is. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button. We talk about GPUs, computer hardware, computer news, everything you can imagine. So today, let's talk about Intel's new upcoming GPU, the Arc alchemy now we know the, about the nvidia and in amd gpus they have been in the market now for well over a year and basically their defining characteristics are great performance but no availability and when there is availability very high prices that's the trajectory that they sort of took over the last several months we were very excited and then all that got kind of you know doled away so having said that i would approach these intel gpus with the same level of expectation because at the end of the day they're definitely getting hyped up and you know supposedly they're getting targeted to gamers but we've also heard that there are going to be no crypto mining limitations on them meaning that if it's still profitable when these gpus come out they're going to fly off the shelves if they have anything approaching a fairly decent performance in crypto mining if their efficiency is good and we're going to have to see how that plays out but for now intel has little by little been teasing us and releasing certain information about this gpu and recently one of the more shocking things that we've seen is how the actual GPU will look like. The YouTuber Moore's Law is Dead apparently got this real picture of the GPU from one of his sources. It's not a render or anything like that. And I'm not too sure what to think yet of how this GPU actually looks. Now, I will say that if this GPU comes out, most people really won't care how it looks like. It's really going to be based on price, availability. GPUs really go in this order that they you know, are priority. Prioritize now. First, it's going to be availability. Then, second, a very close second is going to be price. Third is going to be performance, and then, you know, maybe power draw or something like that. Fourth, in the past, performance and price were always pretty much the, the top things that people wanted to know about a GPU. But now, is it going to be available? That's really the main thing, because it doesn't matter how good a 3080 is, if it's $699 or $2,000, if you can't get it, it really is sort of a moot point. So, aside from those factors... Now we know what the GPU looks like. And really, I'm a little bit surprised because I saw some other renders like this one of this GPU previously, full of RGB and things like that, and it did look considerably better, very modern, very sleek and high-end. Now seeing what the actual picture, supposedly, we don't know if it's true or not, of this GPU may look like. And keep in mind, you know, maybe when it's connected and optimized, maybe it has more RGB or something like that. But at least how this one looks like here, it looks kind of lackluster and if this is a term maybe non-gamer now if intel is targeting gamers with these gpus look at how sleek usually the founder edition gpus from nvidia look like we know the 3080 and 3090 i mean they look absolutely stunning even if the vram does get pretty hot on those coolers the cooler design is really unique very very beautiful to pass through design if you've ever held one of these founder edition gpus in your hand the coolers feel absolutely high build quality everything's very heavy very well put together and they perform really really great when you see something like that it's absolutely inspiring as a gamer. It's really part of your rig and your setup. Look at what gamers do to go completely out of their way to, you know, optimize their systems for the appearance. There's water cooling, so many different RGB options from your fans to even RGB strips you put in your case. Even power supplies look pretty attractive now with RGB. So it's certainly a very big market. The only people that really don't care what GPUs look like, that's going to be sort of, you know, maybe casual users that usually will buy like a Dell box and just throw it in there without a, a window or something like that they never want to see it this kind of looks like something that would be in an oem type system like that or of course crypto miners generally don't care what the gpu look like because they want to put six in a, in a row stack it up and it's most likely that rgb is probably annoying to them and they think it's going to use more power or something like that so completely different audience it's not necessarily about the rgb or, or, or the lights it's about the gpu design i mean look at the nvidia cooler as an example i'm going to use this as an example of what 
what I consider to be a pretty beautiful design. It has, you know, basically no RGB, just a little bit of a, of a light that shines through white, you know, like on the, on the 3090 cooler and the 3080 cooler. So no crazy RGB show if you're not into that, but it has a very, very pleasing and iconic design. That's going to be the key thing. If this is Intel's first GPU, I really do think they have to make it look better than this. Of course, we have all the considerations of, you know, availability, price, performance, efficiency. Those are all extremely important, but don't forget the actual sort of aesthetic of this GPU will certainly dictate a lot about how gamers feel about it. And while it may not be the determining factor in their purchase, it's something that's going to make them happier when it's in their system to show off on the forum or something like that. That is, if gamers do end up being the target and majority audience, we all know that either crypto miners or perhaps even to OEM builders, this may actually be a big deal as well. In the same article from Hot Hardware that had some of these pictures from Moore's Law, um, very interesting thing is that a lot of OEM PC builders, they're actually really, really highly anticipating the release of this Intel GPU, and here's why. If supposedly they bundle these GPUs with the new 12th generation Intel Alder Lake, I would assume that most likely you would probably get a little bit better deal from Intel themselves, um, therefore being able to introduce these GPUs in OEM and custom built systems at a considerably better price point than people can do now. The situation now, especially for an OEM or a system integrator, certainly is most likely a little bit dire because look at the GPU pricing. Even a very base level 1660 is outrageously expensive. You're paying extremely high prices for really subpar performance in 2021 and you're going to have to pay it with a different CPU that may be a little more expensive, maybe Intel or AMD, if they're not necessarily bundled within the same ecosystem. Now, AMD doesn't have anywhere near the sort of, you know, manufacturing and delivering power of NVIDIA or even Intel, as we've seen from the amount of AMD GPUs that sort of have been manufactured compared to NVIDIA, which generally out manufactures them by a considerable margin. They're just a much larger operation and Intel has a pretty large operation as well. They're one of the biggest companies in the world for you know semiconductors and everything like that so I think OEM builders likely are anticipating that they'll be able to bundle an Intel CPU with a more reasonably priced entry-level GPU now the Intel Arc Alchemist it's supposedly the GPUs are gonna come in a few different tiers the fastest one most likely will top out at around the 1070 or 1070 Ti even though I do feel they're probably gonna have a surprise one that's like a 3080 or 3090 level performance of course they're not gonna reveal that now they're gonna probably wait to review that later the other GPUs though however are just as important especially the lower end GPUs that would compete with like a 1660 super or a 3060 those GPUs are really really needed in the market right now because all these other GPUs that are supposed to fill in that void are just outrageously expensive and flat out not worth it this is going to be for the individual gamer and buyer that's buying it to build the system as well as for an OEM builder that wants to buy it to sell it to the gamer as an integrated package just because they have you know more bulk sales and things like that doesn't mean that they're going to have much better of a deal or easier of a time in finding something like a 3060 or other gpus they're still going to be dealing with shortages and not having enough on hand to be able to build systems for their customers as we've seen from build times from several system integrators taking considerably longer than they would have in the past so that's one key point here about system integrators that i think will really really be important for Intel as well, something that we certainly shouldn't gloss over. And then we go back to the actual aesthetic and the appearance of the GPU. Now, if we're talking about an OEM or system integrator like Dell that just kind of closes off the box, not necessarily for an enthusiast, maybe it's a workstation or somebody just wants a little bit of performance, then that's going to be fine. It doesn't matter what the GPU looks like. But the gamer and enthusiast market certainly does care what the GPU will look like. And that's going to cover a large swath of sort of the population that would be interested in these GPUs. Use. So judging from these pictures, I don't think they're quite there yet. When we saw the NVIDIA Founders Edition, even the 2080 Ti looked great. The 1080 Ti with the blower style cooler, very, very beautiful design, sort of iconic for that generation. And of course, the newer 3080 looks really, really nice. And in fact, the 2080 Ti looked so good that AMD even has a similar design with their reference, you know, 6900 XT, 6800 XT. They don't look exactly the same, but you can definitely tell that they got some inspiration from that type of cooler design. The Intel certainly does look unique at this point. It looks, uh, you know, a little bit simpler perhaps in its design. Um, who knows, maybe the actual build quality in the field is extremely heavy and high quality. Intel certainly does 
put out a lot of high quality products, even if they haven't been the best performance for the dollar during the last several years for their CPUs. So if it looked like this and it felt like solid metal and the cooling was amazing, I think then you can make an argument for being a really robust type of GPU, but it looks like maybe a little bit of plastic here and there on the cooler. So it's going to be interesting to see if this really is the final design. Is it going to have RGB? Is it going to have more than just these sort of internal little blue light effects? Is it going to have a different experience from the other GPUs? And this will also translate into software. Now, Intel does have software for their CPUs and for, you know, SSDs that you can upgrade and update and the firmware and things like that. Generally, that software does look pretty outdated, to be honest. Look at something like GeForce Experience or even AMD's Radeon software. Um, generally, you can update your drivers there, do maybe tweaks to the GPU, optimize games. They have a pretty decent ecosystem. I wonder if Intel is going to release some type of a software package like that with their GPUs that allow people, gamers, to maybe overclock the GPU or change lighting schemes or even easily update the firmware. I'm sure they will. I don't think we've seen anything like that so far. It's not really a big deal, but would certainly be interesting to see um, what they do. All right, guys, so let me know what you think about this GPU. Does the aesthetic of the GPU bother you at all, or are you basically all in on the performance and price and availability? Those are important, but at the end of the day, if it's in a gaming rig, you want it to match and to look really good. And silver, it's going to be hard to match in a gaming rig that's maybe a lot of black and things like that. You're going to have to do a nice little silver theme in there or something like that. All right, guys, so remember to subscribe and smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.